and I'm going to talk more about proteins and amino acids and how to really build muscle and why that's so important. Um, it's really, really important for women. Women build muscle completely differently than men do and women's hormones affect their muscle building ability um, in a completely different way than it happens for men. So oftentimes women will be going to the gym or trying to eat healthy or doing all these things and they're like, oh, why is this not working for me? Oh, I'm so frustrated. Oh, what is wrong with my body? There's something wrong because I'm doing these things and maybe I'll get a little result, but it's not happening for me. What the heck? It's not you, right? There's something else going on physiologically, chemically, hormonally that is different for women than it is for men. So we're gonna, I'm gonna break that down. I'm gonna dive deep into some of these specifics for protein and nutrition and why women need to get this amount of protein, why it's so important and what to look for. So, whew, okay, when we talk about muscle building, uh, muscle building is essential for burning more fat. If you're lacking lean muscle, you're not gonna be able to burn fat. Um, and use fat stores for energy. It just can't happen. And what, sorry, my dog, my dog is, hi Spot, <laughs> my dog Spot, <laughs> there he is, oh there he is, hi, Spot I'm doing a video on protein. <laughs> this is, this is good, right? So, the, oh, you're wet, you're wet, okay, but go on, <laughs> thank you Spot, uh. <laughs> oh. And, I, and now I smell like wet dog. It's good that this is a video. All right, go on, go outside, go outside, go outside, go on, go outside. Okay, anyway, well you guys can't smell me because now I smell like wet dog. Um, he's just so excited about his yellow ball. Okay, so women build muscle completely differently than men do. Women's bodies respond differently when they're under stress. A lot of women are working out incorrectly that it's actually increasing stress and not actually maximizing their full body potential and everything else. Um, the deep dive I'm gonna do is about essential nutrients and really what to focus on and look for, and then why I have my program for women um, listed out specifically and why, why it works so well for women and why it gets women these incredible results that they haven't gotten with anything else. So a few things about that, uh, you can click on the link, this is all in honor of my book, The Female Fat Solution, and you can click the link um, that's attached, go to my website, download the free seven day Slim Down, it's a sample of the meal plan that I have for women. It is high protein, clean eating, carb cycling, intermittent fasting, protein pacing, all these things. Um, and then I do talk a lot about nutrition for women's hormones and what it does for the body. Um, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but um, so if you are interested, go grab that free meal plan and, and check it out. If you have questions, comment below, message me. I love, love, love answering questions. Okay, but when we talk about amino acids, Maybe I, maybe I can hide it. This is disgusting. Now he's totally still. We'll see, we'll see how long this lasts. Okay, gross. No, sit. He's sitting really nicely now. Okay. So when we talk about amino acids and amino acids that are in proteins and everything, uh, and what's really important for women to get into their bodies and their systems, um, it's really important to know that there's different categories of, of amino acids. So amino acids are the base building blocks of protein and nutrient. So, so you need them in your system and in your body. So quick, quick rundown, amino acids make up everything um, for proteins and your body uses it to build muscle. I'll get into how men and women build differently in a little bit. But essentially, okay, so the essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. They don't mean them like, oh, this is not important. These are very important. They just mean essential and non-essential because these ones are essential, meaning you have to get them from food that you eat, and these ones are non-essential, meaning your body is supposed to make them. That's it. You still need them. These, these are a big deal, too. I'm not going to go through and list them specifically because that just confuses things sometimes. But the essential ones you get from your food, but your body doesn't store them either. So you consistently have to be fueling your body with these amino acids to build the proteins, to continue with your metabolism, to really help burn fat, all these other things need to happen. That's why the program is listed the way it is, so you continually get this influx of essential amino acids and nutrients that your body needs to really rev up in a different way. You need to have 
some of these essential amino acids, you need to have them to build muscle. And especially for women, women build muscle differently than men do. Women's muscle tissue, the essential components of it, are the chemical makeup is different than men's, naturally. And women's muscle tissue responds differently, especially with hormone issues and under stress. When women's bodies are under stress, they will want to target that muscle tissue and use that for energy versus using fat stores or sugar. It'll take any sugar, any carbohydrate you're eating and store it in your fat cells and then it'll target your muscles for energy. It's really easy for women's bodies to do that with increased stress. So to combat that, you need to provide your body with the right nutrients and give it the fuel it needs so it's not targeting that muscle tissue. So you're preserving your muscle tissue and then you also have to consume even more protein on top of that to build muscle. That's the thing with, with women is that it's almost harder to build muscle because our bodies react so differently to stress than men's do and that our bodies want to internally, I want to say implode and break down and right? Uh, men's bodies, they'll tend to increase in, um, you know, your body has these essential reactions, but men tend to have more risk of a heart disease or stroke or all these other kind of revved up responses. Women's bodies have responses in that their digestive system shuts down. Or you're, all of a sudden, there's other more emotional factors that happen when the body's under ex extreme stress. I do a lot of lectures, uh, especially in the corporate world, on stress. Um, and on the specific physiological effects of stress in men versus women and what to target for each because it makes a big difference in recovery. Um, but that's essentially, when we talk about nutrients for muscle tissue, one of the things to realize is that it is very different for men and women when you're targeting muscle. So women need to not only do things to maintain their muscle, but also to build on top of it to get to that next level of health, of fitness, and everything else. So you need to have these to build muscle and you um, and even to maintain and when your body's under stress you need to make sure you're even getting amounts on top of that so those are the essential ones and a lot of times people will talk about those the essential amino acids da 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 da, da because you have to get them from food um, the other thing I recommend for women is to make sure you're getting a branch chain amino acid supplement especially after working out to help build that muscle this is something where it's tougher for women anyway, so we're sort of digging ourselves out of a hole every day when we work out anyway. Yes, throw in something or make sure you're getting some type of nutrient in your body that's replenishing these to help build that muscle. Now, the non-essential amino acids that your body makes, your body makes them, um, but only when your body is healthy. That's the other caveat here. A lot of times people will ignore these ones. Because they all these are not essential. Like they're not important. Oh, they're very important. <laughs> and if you are sick or under stress or have something going on, um, autoimmune or any of these other things, right? I know how tough that is. And when your body is not healthy enough, it will not make these amino acids. These ones are different than these ones. And you need both to build muscle. So if your body's supposed to be making these and it's not, dang it. <laughs> this is why some women, they're like, oh, I'm trying to work out or I'm trying to do all these things, but your body's not even at a healthy enough point for you to then do those things above and beyond to start having that weight loss or other things. And this may be part of it. You may need to target getting healthy and reducing your stress or having nutrition for stress overall before you can even start to have those other results. Very, very different frame of mind versus, oh, do this like little, you know, quick thing and get a great butt, you know. I mean, sure, everybody likes to have a great butt. I mean, but, but, <laughs> oh, that is a pun. <laughs> but you need to have your body healthy first. So you can get some of these um, non-essential amino acids, you know, from other things too. Now, when you're using, and a lot of women ask me this, uh, these questions, you know, why is your meal plan set it as it is? There's a lot of animal protein in there. Yes, there is more animal protein in there because animal-based proteins, beef, chicken, turkey, all that stuff, they're complete proteins. There are some, especially beef and pork specifically, contain amino acids that women's bodies naturally have a lot, lot less of and that are necessary for really muscle strength, 
muscle speed, muscle quickness, all these things that are going to help you get to your next levels of health, fitness, all that stuff. And so it's easier just to start eating some of these animal-based proteins to get there. Um, quinoa also has some great amino acids in that protein, but again, there's a lot more carb than protein. There is protein in quinoa, great, um, but it, there is more carb in it. So if you're looking for the ratios and all those other things, yes. Um, and then, of course, you can get it from other plant-based uh, sources. Yes, absolutely. So nuts, seeds, um, Oh my gosh, beans, legumes, all those things, other plant-based sources, like if you're looking at protein powders, I always, I do talk about getting a whey protein in for women. Um, if you can handle dairy because of the amino acid component that it brings to the body. If for some reason you can't handle dairy, just make sure that you're supplementing with some of those branched chain amino acids that are in dairy products that they, you know, they take all the dairy out of it. It's just the branched chain amino acid that your body immediately uploads because it gets to bypass the digestive system and liver process and everything. It just goes right up and right up into your system, right up into the muscles, which is good. And so you can, so that's why I always recommend, yes, if you can do whey protein, a grass fed, you know, undenatured whey protein, great. Otherwise, um, you can do plant-based like hemp proteins, pea proteins, rice proteins, yes but make sure you're getting those essential amino acids in there too. Again, huge, huge difference in results when we're talking about some of those things. So women tend to eat less beef and pork than men do anyway, and then our muscles are not as strong. So these big, these little differences, when you kind of look at them all added up, well, no wonder why women have a harder time than men do. No wonder why it's different for men and women to build muscle or, you know, get from that, you know, um, building muscle to then leaning the body out and really seeing those differences. It, it's, it's really significantly different. So essential amino acids, non-essential amino acids, your body doesn't make them, your body makes them, but only when it's healthy. You know, so if you're sick or under stress, your body will not make all these amino acids. So essential to get this muscle, easiest way is with animal-based proteins. But again, you can do plant, just make sure you're getting those branched chain amino acids in there because the body pro women's bodies process stress very differently than men. And it takes a really negative toll on our digestive system, which then will affect how well you're uploading those amino acids. And it will have an effect on your stamina and energy and everything else. Whew, okay. That was a lot of info that I tried to condense <laughs> down. But this is something I'm so passionate about. I, I can't wait for my book to be released here very, very soon because some of these key tips and tricks are just going to be available for women. And if you found this helpful, please like this, share this with others because so many women are missing some of these components that um, once they understand, oh, they can make all the changes to see these different results. Yes, and it's, oh, <laughs> thanks, Meredith. Um, and it's, it's one of those things that I feel like we, we should know this. Like, this should be common. Like, yeah, women need to fuel their body different. Yeah, our bodies respond differently under stress or with hormones or when we're working out and all these. Yes, duh. <laughs> so uh, these other little key tips and tricks make a big difference in what you're choosing and then your results on the back end of it. Okay, so... Any questions, please let me know, comment, message me if you're not comfortable commenting, um, and then yeah, share this with, share this with your friends <laughs> so, they, so they can get all the muscles too. Okay, that's what I got for you guys today. Um, yeah, I will, I'll see you guys later.